Hey guys, I'm Bianca. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have some Dollar Tree DIYs to show you guys. They are more on the high-end, modern, boho type DIYs, style DIYs. Also, if you like this shirt, be sure to stay tuned after the first DIY and I'll give you more info about it plus many others. For the first one, I wanted to go ahead and use these four mirrors from Dollar Tree. Now they actually came in frames that I used for different DIYs. So these are just scrap mirrors that I needed to figure out what to do with. So as you can tell, there are two smaller ones, but we're going to make it work. So what I want to do is create kind of like a frame around it. So I'm going to use these Dollar Tree bamboo skewers to do that. And I'm just going to place one long one in the middle. And then I'm going to grab another one and just put this on either side of that and I'll just cut it down to size. So while editing this, it's bugging me so bad that the mirrors are dirty, but I kept touching them. So I kept getting them dirty and making fingerprints. So I didn't clean them until after I was done. Now I'm cutting down more of these skewers to place around the mirrors like a frame. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint the skewers black. So all of this stays together. I am going to use a Dollar Tree poster board to glue all of this on top of. First things first, we're going to go ahead and apply the outside skewers first, which is going to be the trim for my mirror. Now I'm going to apply the middle trim pieces. I decided to add another skewer to each side so there would basically be like a double trim. So now what's left is to just glue down the mirrors and as you can see on the right side how I told you I was adding a double trim to each side. Well I couldn't just add one long one like I just showed you guys. I had to do two pieces because it, one long one didn't fit. So I guess it all just matters on how well you measure everything out and I didn't give no measurements for this because you might have different size mirrors. The easiest way to cut through foam board is to use a box cutter. So I'm just lightly scoring it and then I will actually push all the way through. This is a wreath form from the Dollar Tree. And what I did was cut out two of the round areas because I'm going to use this on my mirror. And what I decided to do is to use it at the top of my mirror, both of them. The wreath forms are sturdy so the beads won't move around and they slide on really easily. Before adding the beads, I'm scoring off those side pieces and they'll eventually just pop off. And now I just need to figure out about how much I need to cut off. That way I can open the wreath form and slide the beads on. So this is about how it's going to look once you cut them. and. I'm just trying to see how I'm going to place them at the top. You do need to have some touching the bottom of your poster board so you can glue it onto the back. I added some of my Amazon beads to the smaller one and now the bigger one, as you can see, I'm going to stretch it out a little so that way it kind of goes from end to end of my mirror at the top. Like I said, I left some of the wires showing because that part is going to be glued to the back of the mirror. So now for the bigger one, I'm going to add my Amazon beads and I love these Amazon beads. I bought a huge 
I think 1,000 piece pack on there for not even 20 bucks. They came with seven different sizes and I have it linked below in my Amazon store if you wanna check that out. Now that I have the bigger beaded wire stretched out, I'm going to glue it to the back. For a little bit more support, I have some small craft sticks that I just broke in half and I'm going to add it to the back on top of that wire. So then I just added this wreath to the middle of it. I found this wreath a while back from Walmart on clearance. I think it really stands out with the wreath. That's why I decided to add it. And I love the way this came out. Now again, yours will definitely look better than mine because all your mirrors will be the same size. So before we get on with the next DIY, the Red Tank sent me this t-shirt plus two others. And I want to thank them for doing that because this is my second time working with them. Okay, so even if you're not into like crafty t-shirts like this one, they have so many different kinds. They have mom tees. They even have a dog collection of tees. So, And they also have different styles. So if you don't want just a basic tee, they have like a relaxed tee. They have v-neck, slouchy tees. They have muscle shirts. So if you're interested, you can use my code Bianca Ann for 10% off of your order, and this will last until September 30th. So let's get on with the next DIY. For this next one, I decided to use this Dollar Tree rug that I have been having for a while now. The inspiration for this came from Pinterest and Instagram. Her name is Amy Lynch. This is a macrame plant holder. So I'm also gonna use this little wooden tray from Dollar Tree. And I'll have Amy's pages linked below if you want to check her stuff out. Now I'm going to cut the rug to the size of the tray. And I decided to use this rug because I don't know how to macrame. And this would be a little easier for people like me that don't know how to do that. And I thought this rug was a perfect boho modern style to use for the background of the plant holder. Now I have another skewer and I'm gonna use that at the top. So I'm cutting it a little bit wider than the rug. I'm going to go ahead and hot glue that so that the flap is on the back side. So just like Amy's plant holders, I'm going to connect some twine to the shelf and to the top where the skewer is connected to the rug. Now after wrapping it on the bottom part of the tray or shelf, now I'm wrapping it around the skewer multiple times and then I'll tie it. So this side doesn't matter yet as far as it being even. When I do the right side, that's when I do have to bring out my level just to make sure it's straight. So after completing the right side, I'm just taking more twine and I'm wrapping it again on both sides of the skewer just to create a loop to hang. This could be hung anywhere. I actually just hung it up on one of those command hooks, which by the way are my favorite things to use because I hate putting holes in my walls. For the last DIY, I'm making some boho modern shelves. Now what I did was cut out two triangular pieces out of Dollar Tree foam board. I have two cut out already, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. I have a four inch piece and then I have a five inch piece. So for this last one, I'm gonna make it six inches. This is where your personal preference comes in as far as how big you want them. 
I'm marking off where the six inches is at on both sides and once I do that I'm gonna use my box cutter and the easiest way for me I've found is to score it lightly at first I'm not really puncturing through yet because then it'll come out all jagged and then once I do that a few times then I will start to push through the foam board More than likely you'll have a little bit of a jagged edge. It's not going to be perfect. So I just take a little bit of sandpaper and sand it down. For the side trim pieces of our shelves, we're using these giant craft sticks from Walmart, which are only a few dollars for a pack of 45, which is very good. I always pick these up whenever I see them at Walmart because sometimes they don't have them. So what I'm going to do is mark off where I need to cut. So just place it on the side like this. Of course, we will be cutting off the round areas at the bottom and top. Now that I have all the trim pieces cut, I'm going to lightly stain them with my Golden Oak 210B min wax wood finish thing <laughs> now this is the last thing i'm going to do to this you could add a front part to these shelves with these crab sticks if you wanted to now we're going to add a line of hot glue on the side of the foam board and then attach the wooden crab stick So it was that simple. I just added greenery to all three of the shelves. So I hope you enjoyed these high-end Dollar Tree DIYs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please continue to stay safe and I will see you in the next video.